Hey there, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Violet Vixen. Today is honey meringue pudding. It's going to take a little bit of time, but not too much time. I just ran out of time for it yesterday, but here's what we need. We're going to cook this bit first and then put this on the top. So we're going to need an oven proof uh, bowl. Uh, there is a thing called a souffle dish. I don't own one of those, so I'm just going to use one of my casserole pots that I normally use and do it that way so that we can put it in a, um, a hot water bath when we cook it. Anyway, so let's grab what we need. This is also the last recipe from this book. So this one's going to go up on eBay as well. I will make sure that I sign it like I've done with the other ones. So if, you like, if you've enjoyed these and you want the book, check it out on eBay um, under Violet Vixen Fashion. Okay, let's go. So this has been a very exciting book because it's been all about pastries and things like that. So I've learned how to make a lot more with pastry, which is good. Uh, but we're finishing it on a honey meringue pudding. So what we need is three eggs. We're going to separate them. So we need uh, our egg separator. I'm organised, but I'm not. And we need two cups, one for the yolks, one for the whites. There you go. Also, uh, before you start on this, you might want to pop your oven onto 180. I'm just going to get something to put. Uh, I can put them into there. Or oh, one thing into there, one thing into something else. So just get rid of your eggshells. Uh, I'll probably just put the yolks into one and the whites into the other because it's easier that way. That way. So we needed four eggs in total. The good thing about a recipe like this is even though you're using four eggs, you're not having to waste any of it. really annoying when the white won't come off. Okay, so put the whites in together and I'll grab the last one. Okay, lucky last. Oh, a little bit of shell went in with that. Let's hope we can get that out. Oh, it's in with the white. It's fine. I can get that out before I need to. Okay. That is why we do it that way. That would not taste very nice if you're the unlucky person that gets it. Okay, so before I forget, I'm telling everyone to put the oven onto 180 and I have not, so I'm going to go put the oven onto 180. Okay, so this is my variation on a souffle dish and a uh, baking pan. So just a glass casserole pot is fine, just so that it you can have hot water up the sides without cracking it. So that's what we need for later. I've put my oven on 180. Um, I will keep an eye on it or potentially just not give it the full cooking time is possibly going to be the easiest. Okay, so we need a large mixing bowl and we are going to beat eggs in it. So just going to get the mixer down because I'm lazy today. Okay, so into our mixer we're putting those three yolks. Plus that one extra egg. I got rid of my cup, so I'm going to just have to break it into the bowl. 
so good. get a spoon to guide that out ideally as you're doing the yolks just put them straight into whatever you're going to be mixing them in that should be started by now all right pop that on we want to beat these for two minutes <laughs> I don't even think it's going to touch the bottom. So we're going to have to help it. Yeah, I'm going to have to help it. Which is a pain because now I can't be doing other things because I've got to hold this. The only thing I don't like about this mixture, if you haven't got much in there, it doesn't go anywhere. You want to beat these for about 10 minutes. Then we're going to add our 4 tablespoons of honey. The juice of our lemon and the grated rind. Now while this is going on, boil the kettle so you need that really hot water. Well, not too hot, but if you boil it and let it cool, then it'll be good. Okay, I'm starting to put in the four tablespoons of honey. One important thing when you're doing the best and suitable lemon, best it for just straight over the top. Too hard to do it otherwise. the lemon and I'm just putting it in through here so I don't get the seeds and the holes in it because I want the juice only. Leave this to beat for five minutes and then we're going to add the milk and the cake crumbs. So now I'm going to gradually add the two cups of milk and then I had some leftover cake crumbs from last week. So I'm going to put those. So very gradually add this in. <laughs> now at least the levels come up to the right level. Alright. 
and then just those cake crumbs that's got to go in as well. So these were left over from the uh, sponge roll, the Swiss roll from the week before. So I'm not going to buy a whole cake to get 25 grams. So I'm just going to put these in as well. With the butter, 25 grams, just melt it and that's just to grease the souffle dish. I've actually put margarine in it, um, but I think I, I'll just leave, I'll put the butter in it actually. I was umming and ahhing against it, but I think I will. Now you don't need to do this for very long if you've got the, the previous part nice and fluffy. So this is just a catch up for me doing it this way because I can't stand there for five minutes with the mixer in my hand. But if you're lucky enough to have a mixer where it actually reaches, then lucky for you. So I'm just going to leave that a little bit more. I get this 25 grams of butter melted. I think I'll just use the unsalted butter. Saves me opening a new packet just for a little bit of butter. Now I have one of those jugs that every time I use butter it just doesn't seem to do anything. This is officially my butter jug. Easier if you use the same thing for the same purpose, and then that way, if you've got any residue in it, it's the same stuff anyway. Right. I had to use unsalted butter yesterday, that's why I'm saying I'm just going to use unsalted butter. In this circumstance, you should use salted butter. Right? But at the end of the day, I guess we are only uh, greasing a, um, a pan, so it's not going into it. Perfect. Okay, so put that in the microwave for about 30 seconds. That should be done. Now. 30 seconds for that. Okay. So we're nearly ready to make our souffle. Well, it's not really a souffle. So that was originally margarine. Because I, I normally use margarine for greasing. It does the job. It's fine. But sometimes melted butter just gives you that better flavouring too. Um, last time I did something with melted butter, however, it sort of ruined the dish and I can't, I can't remember what it was. So that's why I'm a bit iffy about using the butter, but this one should be okay. Should be. Alright, now I'm also hoping that this pan is actually big enough should be. There's a lot of shoulds about today. Any extra just put it in the bottom because it will it will flavour it. Actually, leave it at that. Okay. Get some hot water into that because it goes yuck otherwise even though it's my butter jug it doesn't matter okay so what i like to do i was thinking it looks like there's something floating in it but no there's not okay i'm going to need these beaters again so i need to wash them quite quickly i don't need them just yet though all right 
so grab your handy pink spatula or something similar and go the white one today see because it's pretty runny but it's a custard all right so in that goes perfect i don't think i'll be using that bowl again only because um it just takes too long so i'm gonna have to do that in a handheld jug okay so that is what we are looking at that little bit of extra butter will just melt into it our kettle that we boiled a while ago should be all right being this hot i don't know now i'm going to put a bit of water in it i don't want it boiling hot just hot So that's why I say boil the kettle earlier and we want it to come halfway up the side so this is basically a um, it's having a bath I'm just gonna leave it at that okay this goes in the oven for 45 minutes And we've got to let it all cool down as well. So I don't think I'm going to finish it before I go to work. Be very careful you don't burn yourself with that too. All right, set that timer for 45 minutes. I might have to do the back end of it tonight to be on the safe side. All right, I'll be back. After 45 minutes, leave it to cool and then we'll be back to do the rest of it later. Okay, so we're back. The custard has well and truly cooled. Um, done a day of work, come home, done a bit of gardening. Um, it's time to meringue it. All right, so let's have a look. So this is what it looked like out of the oven nice and cold so all we're going to do now is make the meringue whack it on the top and into the oven so get that mixer and a bowl to put those egg whites in that we had earlier and let's go okay so this part's really easy because pretty much all we're going to be doing is putting the three egg whites into a jug and whipping them good so I don't normally advise you to wait this long in between doing this, but for now it's what it is. At least it was well chilled. I thought you'd put gold in here too far. Like that actually. Before it gets too fluffy. I just like to use the one that we, we crack from the grinder and we've got to measure out a third of a cup of caster sugar as well. Alright, the good thing is these don't take long to whip up, which is really good. that you're good to go so grab your measuring cup you want a one third of a cup I'm losing all my measuring jugs in the cupboard <laughs> try not to look at that okay. one third of a cup as you can see I'm not organized like this morning. All right. This is a fancy pants sort of dessert. Nice one to finish the the book off. All right. So just put a little bit in at a time. I 
it's like when you make um, pavlova. I've got this on the wrong side too. And no, I'm not left-handed, so it makes it a bit awkward. So, at least my beaters reach the bottom, so. over and the big spoon because we're going to dollop it on top of it. All right. look at us go all right dollop it on yum it's like a pudding with a pavlova on top really all right we're going to put this in the oven for eight to ten minutes and then it's ready to serve cool it down before you eat it and um, should serve about four people I hope you've enjoyed this episode of cooking with Violet Vixen I'm going to catch you next time bye Oh wow, how good does that look? Alright, thanks for watching. I'm going to catch you next time.